Apple has just unveiled its new Apple Watch lineup. Even though design-wise, there are no changes for either of these two watches, at least from outside, but internally there are so many upgrades. Here's a look at the top new features for both the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2nd generation. The main upgrade is actually in the processor department for both of these watches. It's the S9 chip, which is a complete overall from the S8 chip. Now this actually provides a big boost in the speed and offer better power efficiency that improves the battery life. The S9 chip has 5.6 million transistor which is 60% more than the S8 chip and 30% more faster GPU. That means the animations of the watchOS 10 will run smoother. The S9's NPU capabilities has also been upgraded. It's twice as fast as the S8 chip. Now this enables the next feature and that is called double tap. On your watch hand, if you perform a double tap between your thumb and the index finger, you can actually activate an action on the Apple Watch, such as answering or ending a phone call if you're in that, or opening smart stack on the watch. Double tap actually activates the primary action in the watch apps. For example, in music, it will play and pause. Now, this new gesture is in the assistive touch gesture since the Apple Watch Series 4, but the precise detection of the hand movement and the blood flow change can be done only because of the new S9 chip. And that is why it will be exclusive gestures for the new two watches. A very nifty feature though. And because of this new chip, Siri also no longer needs Wi-Fi or cellular connection for the common request. So all of the common Siri requests are done on the new watches. That means quickest Siri response yet on an Apple Watch. Anyway, there is another thing. The second generation ultra wideband chip or U2 ultra wideband chip. Now this technology actually allows you to precisely track an object's location when it's within very close proximity. This new chip in these two watches can now find an iPhone 15, which also has the same chip, even if it's in a different room. That too with haptic visual and audio feedback. The Apple Watch Series 9 now finally have the brighter display. Finally have a brighter display. The Watch Series 9 supports a maximum of 2000 nits, while the Ultra 2nd generation model can go up to 3000 nits. Crazy bright. But that's not all. The always on display also can dim the brightness down to 1 nit when in, in fully dark condition. That's freaking incredible. Now, in addition to that, there are other features too that the Apple Watch Ultra only has. It will also have a new watch face that will show as much information as possible using the entire display. There are also depth apps that saves the log of each session for the divings. Now, aside from that, there is one new thing, the bands and the color options. The Apple Watch Series 9 external design is the same as the Watch Series 8, but it is available in aluminum and stainless steel variants with colors like Midnight, Pink, Starlight, Silver, and Product Red. And the stainless steel variant will be offered in Gold, Graphite, and Silver in either 41mm or 45mm sizes. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 is available in a 49mm size in Titanium, and it has no other black Titanium color option. It's just a normal Titanium color. But the new watch bands are actually pretty cool. The new Sport Loop band is now made with 82% recycled materials the Nike watch bands are also the coolest one using recycled materials as well. And according to Apple, Apple Watch Series 9 is also the first carbon neutral Apple product. I mean, does that make sense to us? No, not really. What does is the price and availability. Well, the prices of the Apple Watch Series 9 starts at $399 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2 starts at $799. And the release date is actually 22nd of September. So yeah, that's probably it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about these two Apple watches? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website. A link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.